The Salmon in the Classroom um, program is, uh, is part of the wider project. We use it as an educational tool really to bring the biology of the fish to life so that the children can understand the uh, biology of the fish that are right here on, on their doorstep. So as part of that, they've had the eggs, uh, which uh, came from the hatchery. The fish uh, normally spawn in December time. And those eyed eggs, um, eye up, you can see the eggs of the, of, of the, of the salmon in the eggs by mid-February. And that's the point we bring them into the school. So we brought them here into Colmstock School. And the children have watched those develop as alvins and then swim up fry. And at that stage where they're ready to feed. So today we've brought them down to the river. And the children have been able to bring them down to release them into their natural habitat. So that those fish now will look after themselves and hopefully in the longer term become a self-sustaining population. <laughs> But as part of the program, we, we also try and get them to understand the, uh, the, what we're trying to achieve on the, on the river, which is to produce a river of high water quality um, with good habitat. This is a basic requirement for our biology in the river, is to have water that is of good quality. The, uh, the fish, the salmon particularly, need cool, clean, well oxygenated water. And so to show that, uh, to just demonstrate the need for that, we can also look at the invertebrates because they also require good, clean water. So luckily here we have got that good, clean water, which is why we've been putting in the fish passes to get the fish up. But we take the kick sample and the children can see the different invertebrates and they can see the ones um, which are very sensitive to pollution. And today they found the stoneflies, the mayflies, and they're all very sensitive to pollution, which shows that our river is actually pretty clean. We've had that good diversity of invertebrates. Uh, right down from the ones which actually you know can tolerate some pollution but what we've found is that we've got a good diversity of invertebrates here in the river which is a good sign of a natural wild population of, of invertebrates that you should find. Once the salmon are released they'll start feeding they're very reliant on that on that base of the food chain for them the invertebrates they'll be here in the river they'll take up station on these fast flowing riffle areas uh, and they will be feeding, sight feeding, on invertebrates that drift down to them. Bye bye fishy!